I have been discriminated um, against for my name, right? My name is Hassan El Sadiq, so I've been discriminated about my name, whether somebody thought I was a Muslim, whether somebody thought I was a terrorist. I'm being so transparent on everything. Like, these are insecurities. And for the first time in my life, I'm embracing these insecurities. What's going on guys good morning today is august 9th 2024 it is 7 25 in the morning we have 84 days before we launch the all drains platform um it's been exactly 10 days since i started this countdown i started it at 94 days and we are down to 84 days and the days are like going, 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 going. Every day we're closer to launch, closer to the goal of supporting athletes, closer to the mission of supporting 1 million dreamers slash athletes worldwide, closer to that mission every single day that we get closer to launch. That makes me very, very excited. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple things. I wanted to talk about one that I made a video sometime last week and it was a part of my daily video, but if you've been watching, you see that some of those ending parts of the videos I cut into their own video because they have their own um, topic or something is just kind of like what I'm thinking at the time when I'm at the Bahia or uh, walking. Um, but I made a video about what culture is and culture is how you behave and, um, and why I don't like hip hop, the culture of hip hop. And it's garnered some, some comments of course and it's uh, it's catching a little bit of you know like catching speed to me is like 500 views, <laughs> so you know it's, it's it's catching some speed and um, like I have to double down on it. I don't like the culture. This morning, anybody that's in the culture knows about the Julio Fulio thing or whatever, right? So this morning I'm scrolling. And I see a video from uh, Fox News, I guess, in Jacksonville, Tampa, wherever it happened. And they have the suspects in court and it's surveillance video, right? Of these guys, I guess the Julio Fulio guy went to different appearances that night. And these guys were literally hunting him down all the way till he got to his destination, the hotel that he that he died at and got shot at. And you can see these guys, he, he like in black, like literally hunting him down. That shit is animalistic behavior on the streets where it's civilians, at a hotel where it's civilians. It's disgusting. And they say where I'm at is dangerous, right? They say Colombia is dangerous. As a black man, I promise you, my quality of life has probably gone up. I probably have added on 10 years to my life and I've felt safer as a black man I've ever felt in my life here. Okay? It's disgusting. And anyone that's in my comments that is justifying what hip hop is and justifying what it means and the culture of it, you're a fool. You're a fool. So I double down on that, okay? I double down on that, especially watching that video where this guy is get, he got hunted down. And then you see this, this young kid in court, young light-skinned kid, skinny as bones, you know? Life is probably completely over because of that culture, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about is um, 
man, the insecurity of entrepreneurship. Um, I'll share a quick story because in April, I was in New York and um, New York is where I'm based at, but I do have this office here in Cartagena, Colombia. Um, I'll tell you a quick story real fast, okay? I'm applying to these accelerators through Techstars, right? At this, you know, at this point, it's like, it's April, right? May, April, May, actually it's May, I'm sorry. And uh, I'm applying to Atlanta Tech Stars by JP Morgan Chase, uh, Detroit Tech Stars, Tulsa. They, you know, they kind of geared to black founders, so they say, right? Um, while you get two picks to go to the different programs. So I picked Atlanta and Detroit. Then I dropped Detroit and I picked Tulsa because Tulsa was like black. So I'm like, man, like, yo, yo, choose me because I'm black, you know, <laughs> DEI, <laughs> right? Um, so I, I, I switched Detroit to, to Tulsa and then I get rejected from Tulsa. Meanwhile, it's another one that comes up called Techstar Sports. And if you know anything, if you've been watching this journey, I have a sports technology company, right? It's geared for athletes, right? It's going to be big. It's going to be one of the biggest companies for athletes, amateur athletes ever, right? Giving them quick, quick plug, you know, giving them a place to capture their sports journey, build their community and earn money and much, much more that they can do on the platform, right? So I applied to this Techstar Sports that's in, the, in Indiana. And this is, this is the insecurity that I have as an entrepreneur, as a black entrepreneur with the name Hassan El Sadiq, with a past that you can Google me that you know that's still there for something i did not do this is the insecurity in all circles it all circles back okay uh so i see this new this program they just put up tech star sports you have to apply by like may 30th or something like that or june 15th something like that so i'm like yo this is it all dreams should be in tech star sports right and i applied but what i what i do first I immediately went to find out who was the managing director and I reached out to him like, yo, man, I'm interested in applying. Yo, I got this company, it's a sports tech company. Yo, I think it would be perfect for this. Now I also do my research on prior companies that was in the program. And I'm looking at these companies, I'm like, yo, I'm either better or I'm better. <laughs> right? Like seriously, I'm looking at these companies like, yo, I either can compete or I'm better than these companies. Like for real, for real. That was already in the co that was already in the previous cohort. So I'm like, yo, I got a really good chance at this. So now I do research on a manager director. I email him, he emails back, yo, contact this guy. And if we're interested, you know, we'll hit you up. Cool. So they switch my uh they switched me to that program or whatever so they can look at my stuff. Didn't hear back or whatever. So I'm like, yo, let me force the issue. So I do some research on the guy that's the managing director. He's a Jewish guy, okay? And he's on Twitter, like with this Israeli, like, you know, like, like you know, you know the war between Hamas and Israel, Palestine, all of that. And I'm like, okay, so this guy's gonna look at my name and know that I either have Muslim ties or I'm Muslim or something like that. So I email him like, yo, look, I asked a couple people before this. I was like, man, what you think? Should I email this guy? Because he's on Twitter, like really vocal about being Israeli and what's going on, you know? And automatically, if you look at my name, you probably like, yo, nah, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not letting this guy in the cohort or whatever. 
even if I'm qualified, even if my company is the best to be in the in the program. You understand? Like that's how it works, right? These people, they have the, you know, they have the power to pick who they want. So I email them, yo, look. And I probably I can pull up the I can pull up the email. What I want to do is I have to document this um, this day, which is June fifth, two thousand and twenty-four. Um, I want to get into this program right here, Techstars Sports Indie. This guy right here, Jordan Fliegel, is the managing director, and um, more or less, it's his decision. So. I listened to this interview right here from Jordan and I found out a lot of information. I found out information about the program, about what they do in the program. I found out information about him himself, right? And um, he's a Jewish guy. He's a Jewish guy. And what has happened to me in the past is I have been... I have been discriminated um, against for my name, right? My name is Hassan El Sadiq. So I've been discriminated about my name, whether somebody thought I was a Muslim, whether somebody thought I was a terrorist, uh, something that's been going on for basically uh, uh, since I've been an adult. He's a Jewish guy. He's a, you know, his religion is Jewish. And in all honesty, like my dad was a Muslim. Um, when he was alive, I just believe in God. I really don't really get involved with organized religion. Maybe I will in the future. I don't know. I don't know what the future has. Um, uh, my mother, she's Christian. Uh, however, the point that I'm trying to make is when you're going through this, these, these processes and uh, somebody looks at your application and they say, and they have a belief and they say, oh, this person right here, they could be the candidate that's qualified and because of their belief or because of their name, we know they just they just be like, no, like I'm not I'm not going to be dealing with that person or whatever um, without even giving that, the person the opportunity to get to know that person or what have you. So uh, in this interview, I found out that they do recruiting. So basically 12 companies get into the accelerator but they already choose like nine or 10 companies that they've already recruited. So they only pick like two to three companies that is, um, that they, that they choose from the application, from the applications. So it might be a thousand applications. They're only picking like two to three companies. And like I said, with my name and what's going on with is, uh, Israel and Palestine and people, Muslims and Jews, like, I don't want to be caught in the mix of that. I really believe that I deserve to be in this accelerator. So what I'm doing right here is I am sending him an email about this. And this is what the email says. Because uh, I, I did email him saying that I wanted to apply. And he emailed back. Um, but I emailed right here. Hi, Jordan. I wanted to circle back with you as I saw an interview with you. The interview today you did with venture venture fizz a couple notes below first note i didn't realize you guys recruit nine to ten companies and only might take two to three companies out of the application so my chances are slim with that said i hope this is not taken the wrong way in the past i have been judged by my name as being muslim or a terrorist i understand you are jewish and with the war that's going on i do not want any confusion i am an American black man from Buffalo, New York. I do not practice organized religion. I just believe in God. I'm not saying you would not pick my company because of my name or religion. I think it's important to reach out and say what's on my mind because what's going on in the world affects us and our businesses. I only want to be judged for what you are looking for as a visionary founder with a big mission and the ability to execute. I am all of those things. Second note I got from that interview. I really need to know you whether I get in or not. We have many similarities with basketball and entrepreneurship. I want to learn from you and I really want to get into Texas Sports Indy from what it off from 
what it offers founders with all the resources. I believe all, dr all dreams is a direct fit with your program. I hope you understand my sentiment and do not take this email the wrong way. Thanks much. So that's the email that, uh, that I, that I sent and man, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Which I shouldn't even had to do all of this shit, to be honest with you. But what I'm saying is this is the insecurity that I've been having as an entrepreneur on this journey, right? Not only do like black founders get like less than 1%, black male founders, like we don't get funding. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's hard to build a company. So my insecurities had me reach out to this guy over this. And of course I didn't even get into the program. <laughs> I, I didn't get into the program, okay? And also my insecurities of my past of being, you know, going to prison, my insecurities of being on the, like a federal press release or whatever, saying that I did something that I did not do. Like people can Google me and it just comes up. These are the insecurities that I have as an entrepreneur going after this, this, this vision to build this company. And that's why this is, again, an epic journey that I'm on building this company because look, I'm being so transparent on everything. Like these are insecurities. And for the first time in my life, I'm embracing these insecurities, right? And just doing the thing and just giving it to the world, basically. It doesn't matter what happens. It's no agenda. I'm just gonna do this every single day. And if you have insecurities, embrace them, right? Because those insecurities, <laughs> oddly enough, will make you everything that you think that you're not, all right? So that's my story for the day, and I'm about to go ahead and get to work. Have a good day, guys. You gotta be your own biggest fan. So I'm watching my premiere. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So I'm watching my premiere. I gotta be my own biggest fan. You feel me? How'd I do? This is going to be known as one of the most impactful journeys on YouTube. I think every single day, like, why this matters. Why am I here in this barrio building this company? Like, why does it matter? Have humility, work hard, capture the journey, have fun, learn, enjoy the journey, because when it's over, it's over. To be a 44 year old man thinking like, yo, I want to do Project Swag and go after my dream again. That's what this company is built off of. It's August 8, 2024. It is 8.02 a.m. I'm here in my office in Cartagena, Colombia. We have 80... Hold on a second. 85 days before we launched the All Dreams platform for amateur athletes worldwide.
What's going on guys? Yo, it's your boy Hassan El Sadiq, and I'm here at the All Dreams HQ here in Columbia. And um, of course, man, you know already know, man. Basketball, basketball, basketball. So um, maybe it's over a year ago, I met this young lady named Tatiana. You might have seen her on my videos. She's a basketball player. I've worked her out. Uh, brought her back some sneakers from the United States and she has been elevating in her career man she's been working hard she's been doing really really good she's on a team now and they actually need some help and if you know what my journey is oh man come on man goodness gracious man all right just a, just a second man this is how it is you know, having your HQ in the barrio, you know what I mean? Guys just coming, just just talking, you know what I mean? Selling whatever. But anyways. You got to go. All right, so what I'm about to do right now is just made this little promo video for a friend of mine's named Tatiana. She's a basketball player here in Cartagena. And um, their team is trying to raise some money. So I just made a video uh, out there and uh, I'll run a little promo, send it to some people, see if I can help them raise some money. Um, all of our money is inside of building this platform. And this is exactly what the platform is for. It's for athletes when they need things like this to be able to raise money and send out their link and say, hey, this is what we're doing. This is shit that's needed worldwide. So um, damn, I wish the platform was ready, but we'll try to we'll try to do it the old school way. That's why all dreams is better, faster, better packaged. OK, it's my pitch. <laughs> all right. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'll try to. Try to make a, a little quick video real fast. What's going on guys? Yo, it's your boy Hassan El Sadiq and I'm here at the All Dreams HQ here in Columbia. And um, of course, man, you know already know, man. Basketball, basketball, basketball. It's over a year ago, I met this young lady named Tatiana. You might have seen her on my videos. She's a basketball player. I've worked her out, uh, brought her back some sneakers from the United States. And she has, been elevating in her career man she's been working hard she's been doing really really good he's on this team getting to be a better player every single day and her team needs some help okay and as you know we're building all dreams um, we're building a platform just for things like this right where people can find stories and and athletes like Tatiana and support their dream to go to college, to potentially maybe have a dream to go pro, but definitely to forward their career as an athlete and to get further in their athletic goals, okay? So I'm sending this video out because this team needs some help. And if you want to donate, maybe you can send Cash App to, we all have dreams. Um, but if you want to help out this team, please let me know, okay? 